commanded Maryam to take the bounty to let the dates get caught. But uh, the question there is, the bounty can be shaken, especially by the a woman. A woman can be a woman. So uh, I'm not questioning what I was. Uh, yeah, but, but how can we explain that to a man Muslim who will ask us how can I, how can I pass by my father, command a friend to shake the family in which he cannot uh, do? Yes. So how can we explain that? Have you ever shaken a family member? Never. Never? Yes. Well, there are some, and I'm not, again, first I'll respond to the says. Even though God, Allah, could have just made the dates fall, right? Do they not fall in heaven? Don't we see them on the ground? And when we go through, we see uh, the trees and they're just falling, and people have to put banks next to the right? They fall by themselves or what? God says in the that not even the last leaf falls except by the God knows about and by God's will. Now, however, God is teaching us a very important lesson. That sometimes, yes, God can give you things, but you need to actually raise your hand a bit and move a bit. You understand what I'm saying? However, I know there's such a lesson my God says, so I present with atheists. He says, what is this? It's a How can a pregnant woman shake a palm tree? Right? But I always tell my atheist friends, there's small palm trees as well. They're not, they don't have to be huge, giant palm trees. They can be shaken very easily. It's real not. Is it? Right? I'm not going to say it was a big palm tree, a huge palm tree, a small palm tree. Is it possible, though, that someone can shake a palm tree and days can fall down? So I always tell my atheist friends or people who are very skeptical, I say, please be fair to yourself and apply the scientific reasoning before you just dismiss things as stories. Because God says in the Quran that people only hear these things. Quran is a deal that will These are just stories from back, you know, from back in the days, from old times. But the thing is, people say, how can this be? I say to them, or why, why, why? I say to them, why not? Is it possible? Yes. Yes. It is. True or not? Does that answer your question? Or not? <laughs> yes? No. Someone else? No. Yes? Can you take the microphone? Mic? There was a microphone? No, we put two sources. They can write down the question. Oh, okay, you can write them, Sean. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions from the world by the time we wait? Yes, bro.
that I'm saying, I'm saying. But at the same time, we don't compromise our faith. We don't compromise what we believe to go out of our hand to respect them. We respect them. Omar Khattab respected them. Omar Khattab was invited to pray in the church. He refused because he said, I don't want people after to know that Omar prayed in church and they will take it over and make it to this city. Simple. You understand? But he didn't go and, uh, you know, how to put on a Christmas tree or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You understand? You understand? So this is, uh, you know. <coughs> from the sisters? Oh, from the sisters. Very nice way. Which is the best approach to explain to a Christian family the real meaning of Christmas without hurting it? From the others. Well, in the end of the day, you need to be as soft as possible when explaining something to people, especially in your son. People are so used to this tradition. For example, I was talking to a friend of mine, Paul, and he said, I was talking to him about Christmas and just we had a discussion. And I told him, like, really, why do you guys do this? Why do you guys celebrate Christmas when it's not even part of your faith? He said, you know, I agree with you, my friend, but Christmas is a time for what? To bring families together. Right? It's such a beautiful time. Okay? To bring families together. But I told them, do you really need a special day to bring a family together? Do you really need Mother's Days to honor and love our mothers? He said, do we have to sing a lot of day in the whole year to bring our families together? To, to respect our mother, to bring our mother a flower or a flower, or to say, I love you. Every day is another day. Every day should be a family day, brother and sister. Why? Why do we sing around one day? Does it make sense? What, how, 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 how long have we become if we try to say that, try to find as an excuse to, you know, to say the Lord and Son brings families together? Let's, let's bring our families together on anything. Let's love our family. Let's love our mothers any day. And of course, try to explain to them in the nicest forms. Don't go to them. Mom, you're a pagan. You're following pagan love. This is not the right way. Because first of all, it's not true. Second of all, it's not written to teach that. It says to talk to people in the best of manners. To discuss the day to them in the best of manners. Oh, Mom, I love you. I miss you. I care for you. Please give me a heart for one thing. I'll tell you this one thing. Please don't get angry at me. This is why I believe that we're doing this not correct. Please, if you can, change. And you tell. And then in the end, you've done your, your job in delivering the message. What can you do? Can you invite someone? No, you can't. Deliver the message with softness and and yet, what people do with it, that's I. I'll give another question to this. We have two of them. How to explain to the person that believes and that everyone has a God that there is only one? Um, like everyone is in each person, I'm not sure who it is. But like each person, I think that like some Hindus have like family God and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. Is that what we mean? I mean, if that's the case, some of some our Hindu friends, they believe that a certain families have their own God or this person has their own God. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, brothers, just look around you. Go outside, look at the sky. Do you think there's more than one God? Can there be more than one Father? CEO. God uses this in the Quran as analogy. It says there will be more than one God. There will be chaos. Because by definition, what does God mean? God is absolute. And you can never have two absolutes. Simple as that. Because as soon as you name another person or another thing with God with an absolute, none of it is absolute actually. Because to have two absolutes means 
One has to degree everything, and the other has to degree everything, and you will not have it. You know, perfection. But there is. Look, just go to the sky. Just go to the nature. Go look around. It's self-evident. It's evident. I mean, I don't think there's, you need to go far to far steps to explain this right now. There cannot be more than one absolute. You want to go from logic, reason, rationale, whatever. But if we read along this one, it's two, we'll go to work and apply it. Then we go home and we say, oh, it's equal to four. Or three. Doesn't make sense. Yes. 